an institution or a corporate the executives are often reluctant to adopt this um in the mistaken belief that uh, costs would go up if go into this kind of sustainable marketing strategy but on the contrary academically research has proved that and business experience has proved that those corporates which are into sustainable marketing are really doing well compared to those who don't care for the environment and um, what that is why we need to be um, careful about this sustainable uh, strategies be able to watch my uh, second uh, slide why sustainable energy can you all see my second slide yeah yeah this, yes yes madam yes ma okay yes, thank you uh this sustainable energy is required because uh, our population is uh, growing our poverty and hunger are increasing uh, we still have hunger deaths in countries like sudan um and our uh, the the uh, people uh, who are uh, drawing less than half a dollar in this country are uh, more than 40% so continuing social stratification and exclusion is there depletion of uh, resources is there and uh, you also have uh, natural resources like water like trees like uh, everything being uh, depleted impending danger of human uh, impending danger of a human race facing severe shortage of clean air water and food so we are all struggling <clears throat> to get organic food these days and uh, everybody is very conscious we want to have millets we don't want rice we don't want <laughs> gluten we don't want polished foods we don't want pesticide um, sprayed uh, vegetables or fruits so we are concerned about sustainable strategy and uh, we want legislations which can safeguard our health safety and environmental protection so let's see what is this uh, sustainable uh, development is uh sustainable development is referred to as a, it's a holistic and a long term concept it seeks to balance and fulfill the needs of present and future generations as well as ensure long term uh, survival of human race because uh, research has proved that uh, this kind of eco ecological imbalances and the global warming and the kind of uh, in our organic foods we eat are all responsible for the stillbirths uh, infant mortalities and increasing kind of uh, lead intake among children and uh, um, many other issues related to from the womb till tomb it's all because we don't care for sustainability so what is the 2030 agenda of un for sustainable development UN has given uh, an agenda for sustainable development which contains about 17 goals uh, for the world as it is it is a holistic and long term concept it seeks to balance and fulfill the needs of the present as well as the future generations it ensures uh, long term survival of human race uh, UN has been cautioning us as you all know during the covid pandemic also they have been cautioning us about social distancing about the need for vaccination though the human race is totally neg neglected even in some of the most favored nations they have been cautioning us about the ill effects of the global warming many more uh, so um, if we see the 2030 agenda of this un for uh, of uh, un for sustainability development we have identified at least uh, five areas out of the 17 goals the first area is the people they, we must end poverty and hunger in this world ensure that all human beings can fulfill their potential with full dignity and equality in the healthy environment how equal are we uh, if you see the uh, top 10 business persons um in the world their wealth is equal to the wealth of uh, entire uh, wealth of uh, a country like us so so much is the islands of wealth 
islands of poverty so the planet uh, concern concern for people is that they, it should be people are to be having a poverty free hunger free environment concern for planet is that you protect the planet from degradation including through sustainable consumption and production so that it can support the needs of the present and future generations prosperity that all human beings can enjoy prosperous and fulfilling lives that economic social and technological progress occurs in harmony with nature see unfortunately mahatma gandhi said go back to villages unfortunately we are turning our backs to villages and getting into food crisis these days this is another un agenda you need to have a very fast you need to foster a peaceful you know terror free just and inclusive societies which are free from fear and violence another important uh, sustainable development goal of 2030 is that we need to have partnership that is spirit of strength and uh, global solidarity with the participation of all countries all stakeholders and all the people so uh, we speak about vasudhaika uh, kutumbam where you know we speak about the world unity that there should not be any kind of division lingual division or uh, uh, cultural division or communal division or even national divisions the entire world should come together we should all live like a family un has exactly focused on this vasudhaika kutumbam these are the 17 goals that the un has been speaking about no poverty zero hunger is the second one good health and well being is the third one quality education to everyone is the fourth one gender equality even now we speak about disparities in wages women not being assigned to leadership positions uh, not equal representation in politics except in countries like finland Uh, outstanding achievements of women if you see indian institute of science 52% are girls gold medals are backed by girls but the number of outstanding scientists women scientists in the country are only 2% is happening to the remaining so there is no gender equality whether it is payment of wages for workers or whether it is assigning them into higher positions even in business unless they are uh, they are so and so's daughter like adi godrej will be giving his business property to his daughters or apollo dr reddy will be giving it to his daughters because he doesn't have sons uh, so even the business heritage is given to women because there are no sons there is no gender equality if there is a son it is uh, mostly managed by the sons of the family and not the daughters so gender inequalities do exist in every system you see the ias officers you will find women um, being sidelined to tourism or uh, say uh, women development or child development that kind of uh, activities they are not given portfolios like uh, revenue defense or uh, home affairs or uh, internal security of the country internal affairs or external affairs that kind of key roles uh, i think it is only people like dr nirmala sitaraman dr uh, sushma swaraj of late have been handling good portfolios even people like uh, um renka choudhury who used to drive a bullet and uh, drive a tractor in her villages very masculine job she used to do she was not given a defense portfolio she was pushed to tourism gender equality is not there world over uh, even at highest positions women draw less pay compared to their male counterparts so clean water and sanitization is another important sustainability goal then uh, affordable and clean energy that is lighting even now we find our students struggling with internet connectivity without proper electricity connection i have students from the northeast who tell me that uh, they have to go to the hill top to attend classes uh, i have come across students uh, who go to the village temple cycling for 2 3 kilometers because the signals are better there than their place so uh, full clean energy and net connectivity to charge their laptops there won't be power in the rural areas or even their mobiles 
they give a one hour seminar from their mobiles and i'm surprised i can never do that if even 30 years ago uh, i don't know how they prepare the ppts they struggle with the improper energy decent work and economic growth industry innovation and infrastructure is the ninth goal reduced inequalities inequalities in terms of caste creed color you have discrimination even in countries like us i've seen in the university of virginia where the student a black student of law had to uh, sit in a corner in a canteen after fighting a case in the federal law to join the university and he was given a separate plate and a cup uh, and he would never uh, be allowed to mingle with his counterparts uh, so much of discrimination is there in india not only in india in any other country you have seen the struggle of apartheid so sustainable um, cities and communities are required uh, that is another 11th goal responsible consumption and production is the uh, 12th uh, climate action so as corporates also they need to be concerned about the climatic changes and contribute for the green um, uh, environment then life below water also we should be concerned about the aqua life on land we should be concerned about the trees that is why when we chop a tree for construction of any building in our college we need to plant in the 1 is to 5 ratio and groom those five plants as well if you go to iit madras you will find uh, business uh, building structures criss cross because they won't uproot a single tree they will rather construct the building around the tree and uh, that is how they are concerned about life on land peace justice and strong institutions these are very much required someone used to say that india has built lot of temples whereas us has built huge universities uh, of course we also have heritage universities like nalanda and takshila basically how much of focus we are giving on improving our institutions is a big concern in the sustainable uh, sustainable development goals of un and the partnerships for the goals is also an important criterion so what is sustainable marketing in the in the uh, context of uh, our management domain the so marketing as a function has evolved to meet the needs of the society in different phases of evolution we heard of six concepts of marketing depending upon the focus that is the production concept product concept selling concept marketing and societal concepts um so the societal concept uh, uh called for coupling customer satisfaction with social welfare this concept is uh, what we call as sustainable marketing to have concern for customer satisfaction social welfare ecological balance and for the present for the present and future generations as well we must always think of our future generation when we are uh, planning anything in our marketing context so that is why in the year 2013 the companies act was revised the government made it mandatory to include 2% of the net profits uh, towards uh, csr by every corporate benefiting the various stakeholders including the natural environment which is also a stakeholder in the business context so it offers innovative products that provide customer satisfaction while ensuring environmental production protection that is why we that is where our concept of sustainability marketing sustainable marketing or green marketing comes into picture so let's see how this model of sustainable marketing is on the one hand you need to take care of customer satisfaction on the other hand you need to take care of the society's welfare you also have to take care of ecological balance there is a a uh, proponent of uh, corporate social responsibility i will say an opponent of corporate social responsibility his name is called milton friedman milton friedman said once that the business of business is business that means business should focus only on profits you don't have to care for the environment unless you make profits you will not be able to spend on corporate social responsibility or green marketing or pollution control energy conservation waste recycling or any kind of activities where you are concerned about the environment 
the society at large if we are truly in working in the business sense and expect the government to take care of the rest are we not the socially responsible citizens or corporate citizens being in business this is a big question i think every it's, it's a collective responsibility rather than pushing the responsibility onto the shoulders of the government so why this sustainable uh, sustainability marketing you let us see why are we so much speaking about this elements of a sustainable marketing today sustainable marketing is an innovative see as soon as the covid pandemic started people started sharing beautiful pictures of the blue mountains the himalayas jala on itself from punjab i had a friend who sent a beautiful pictures uh, photograph of the himalayas which was visible as soon as the pandemic started because there was no traffic and uh, we could see the birds flying we could see wild animals coming onto the roads and enjoying because we have all occupied the land and uh, uh, we have occupied the dwellings of these wild animals so in our college yesterday they found a snake 8 feet back cobra uh, in the closed canteen which we are opening now i said please leave it don't kill it because we have occupied its land uh, snake go on its own it has left on its own into the woods uh, so we have to we it is we human beings who have encroached into every species environment every animals existence is ours we think we are the king of the world and we don't care for any animal so we go in a killing spree we cut trees uh, we uh, we emit lot of unwanted things unwanted gases into the air uh, like uh, our ac emissions or refrigerator emissions when a company comes out with a refrigerator with very poor emissions you don't buy it because it is more expensive uh, i'll tell come to those corporate examples also so sustainable marketing is uh, an innovative and responsible marketing so it involves commitment to csr activities where we care for our employees our shareholders our customers our society at large our trade unions our bankers our suppliers our contractors the stakeholders so it will be benefiting all the stakeholders including the natural environment uh, and that is where you offer innovative products while ensuring social welfare and also environmental protection companies may have to do the following they have to take up this sustainability marketing for building corporate image you have to social go for social inclusion and community development marketing is another thing promote and deliver customer desired value of environmental products target relevant consumer market segments see when i visited uh, the state of sikkim some 20 years ago i was amazed to see that the government was so concerned that you should not carry plastic bags you should not drink tea in plastic cups it was back 20 25 years ago in sikkim delhi during my previous visit 3 years ago it was cng but today in delhi cng vehicles are banned they are all electric vehicles a couple of months ago when i have gone to delhi all vehicles are nexus electric electric vehicles they are the taxis from the airport all of them are evs electric vehicles cannot use even cng so the target marketing promote and deliver the customer desired value of environmental friendly products is uh, relevant to the customer segments that is green marketing and develop a product portfolio develop uh, go green products uh, ecologically friendly products position uh, properly employ environmental product and consumer benefit claims that are specific and meaningful procure credit endorsements and eco certifications from trustworthy celebrities third parties or the certifying agencies and educate customers about the meaning behind those endorsements and the eco certifications the communication is required to educate the customers with marketing messages that highlight the concerns for social inclusion and environmental protection you see the green marketing tasks what is that our corporates are doing There are several green marketing tasks that companies are doing uh, the development stage itself while acquiring raw material and component parts itself you can plan environmental programs to 
uh, which required minimal packaging of inputs to consider sources of materials that could be replenished or recyclable. Production stage, you can reduce the emissions. You can uh, reduce the toxicity and waste to conserve water and energy. Also develop alternative uses. For example, uh, companies which produce fly ash, bricks out of fly ash. If you see the Mysore sandal factory uh, in the sandal waste is converted into aquapathies. This is one example of use of waste products to revise the manufacturing process, to minimize the waste generation, to minimize energy, or to attempt to find alternative sources of energy. These are all required in a kind of su sustainability marketing. Um, what is that we do in the consumption stage? Encourage minimization of packaging, conservation of energy. So today, if you visit any apartment, most of the trash will be filled with uh, Swiggy packaging or Zomato packaging or Amazon packaging. People cook at home. They do they order food from uh, Swiggy or Zomato or Uber Eats or whatever. Uh, of course, they, it is now merged. Okay. So it is all a waste a producing excess waste. Disposal is another encourage reuse and recyclability in addition to the concept of waste reduction. Companies like Nike, which is uh, one of the top shoemakers in the world, they have been focusing themselves on Go Green. They claim that Air Jordan shoes as environment friendly and it has significantly reduced the usage of harmful glue adhesives. It has designed this variety of shoes to emphasize that it has reduced wastage and used environmental friendly materials. Indian Hotel Company uh, Limited, that is IHCL, which is a part of the Tata Group, have uh, always worked on furthering social inclusion and affirmative action. You know how responsible Tata Group is. Tata Iron and Steel Company, for the first time in India, has started social audit in 19, 1965, which was subsequently followed by ITC, Amar Raja Batteries and uh, companies, uh, pharmaceutical companies like Pfizer and other things. But they were the pioneers. If JRD Tata was the first pilot, they are the first steel makers in the country. They are the first people uh, to introduce a people's car, Tata Nano. They are also the first people to buy two Ford brands, Jaguar and Rover. So they have many firsts to their credit. The first is that they have been extremely eco-friendly and they have been very socially responsible. And uh, they are committed to leveraging CSR, corporate social responsibility synergies, to build bridges and enable market access of undeserved uh, target communities, including their workforce and value chains. They outsource a lot of products from the tribal belts. It is about embracing social and environmental responsibility as a part of the way they do using integration drive as economic value. In an attempt to harmonize and unlock the true and transformative potential of their CSR activities, they have brought all of them under one umbrella band, brand called areas, areas focus include uh, sustainable welfare activities, building livelihoods, extending support towards heritage and tourist spots, ecotourism they are trying to support, and um, they are also trying to promote the local cultures. You will be surprised Infosys is encouraging uh, people to come in their uh, respective cultural outfits uh, in a week, uh, whether it is a Gujarati style or a Tamram style or uh, a Kashmiri style or a way of wearing a sari. You can go in your traditional attire in a week. This is one of the sustainable marketing practice. When you try to preserve the cultures the communities and the environment to thrive upon. And um, that is, you know, their hotel designs, their value chains, their cues in guest engagement, even by recruiting, even for the Mumbai Taj Hotel, they have recruited people from rural communities. They are all not uh, from hi-fi corporate schools. Uh, they work with the terrorists' lives to protect the customers including their laundry bags everything is 
eco friendly in the hotels the taj group so they have several skill training institutes uh, they have golden threshold programs they manage the tata institute of social sciences where they promote eco friendliness and environment protection and um, they are also contribute towards several case studies to the harvard business school on the sustainability uh, development you have companies like uh, neral paints which always are concerned about the welfare of the society and environment they are highly responsible environmental citizens and uh, they are more concerned about um, lead poisoning among children which damages their nervous system kidney and reproductive system so they made it a point that all the uh, paint brands they produce the kansai airlock uh, they have removed all the hazardous heavy material from their paints which is a very good sustainability marketing initiative itc hotels is also another way of life it was more than a decade ago there is a beautiful uh, a video that i will show you about this itc uh, hotels do for sustainability what term as responsible luxury in their hotels how they practice the environmental friendly policies across all their properties so itc gardenia bangalore is a one of their beautiful project which i will show you as a video for you in the next couple of slides so you have uh, these days as soon as i joined this community college i found some um you know cfl bulbs but they're all replaced by led bulbs now because that saves power also gives longer life uh, and um, many other benefits uh, for the customer as well so you have cfl bulbs you have energy star refrigerators air conditioners high star air conditioners which don't harm the environment uh, recycled biodegradable paper products such as uh, towels paper napkins a country who use too much of paper nap napkin napkins fortunately but if you see the western world they are too dependent on paper napkins right from toilet to hand uh, coffee filters which are sustainable uh computer paper and many thing uh, many things you can recycle um like um uh, tide has come out with a laundry detergent where you don't have to use hot water for wash tide cold water where energy savings will be to the 85% and uh, they have become mainstream products now the washing machine companies have moved on from top loading to front loading because you will be saving 80% of the water in front loading washing machine front load washers operate without agitators the large paddle device in the center of the wash tub and appliance manufacturers have become more recently developed new models of front load washers which are smaller affordable and designed for domestic use see what is happening with this uh, uh, why this green products and uh, uh, what are the green other green marketing strategies the polsky and rosenberger this is for the interest of researchers they say that green marketing activities which take place in functional marketing areas can be divided into tactical strategy strategy and strategic levels and let's see what are these green marketing activities at three levels three levels you have uh, you can tap on green marketing mentioning green features are run in green focused media for the strategic marketing they develop green brand in addition to other brands strategic greening a firm launches a new strategic business unit aimed at green market so um tactical greening is different you try to project yourself green the greening is half greening strategic greening is true greening and uh, switching from and raw material supplier to another who is more eco friendly is a tactical greening gesture life cycle analysis incorporated into eco farm is a quasi strategic greening fusi xerox develops its green wrap paper to be more eco friendly from the ground up ground up low level to top level that is a strategic greening body shop uh, you all know about body shop brand of toiletries pursue environmental and social change improvements and encourage customers also to do so 
he says strategy greening option bp amoco um, uh, um, uh, um, sorry british petroleum finds its logo you might have seen the logo uh, with sunflower uh, sun based emblem to reflect its view of a hydro solar based future for energy business i think company can run a pr campaign to highlight its green aspects and practices which is a target greening so there are so many other examples which we can cite i can go on and on but let us see at the orsatas framework this is a research framework provides similar classification of strategies one is uh, if you have competitive advantage at lower cost organizational processes then your strategy can be eco efficiency if you have differentiation in the competitive advantage and organize good organizational processes you can go for beyond compliance leadership in your green marketing or sustainable marketing if you have if you are having products and services with the differentiation you can go for eco branding if your costs are low and you have good products and services you can go for environmental cost leadership that is how we classify the strategies and um, what are the different strategies corporates can look for one is uh, the eco efficiency firms have to reduce the cost and environmental impact on organizational process so as soon as i joined this community college i have a cc camera and i can watch the classrooms from my classrooms pathways and all these things from my room i've been noticing that many a times the fans keep moving uh, keep running and uh, the lights are not switched off immediately i call my attendant go on switch off these try to conserve power uh, this has become a day to day activity then finally my colleague uh, who is handling the diploma in sanitary inspection he told me madam don't worry i will send the diploma in sanitary inspection school to students to every classroom inform them to conserve power to conserve water uh, to properly dump the garbage in the dustbins and uh, i will ask them to make sure that students don't waste power or water of the institution they will be equally concerned like that of their homes in the institution so eco efficiency we can do it at different levels so beyond compliance leadership it's about continuously developing in order to gain the smoother advantage you have to keep on keep on benchmarking for uh, better so company also to boost its corporate image and to have concern for the environment can come out with many innovative strategies the eco branding is another thing creating a credible uh, green brand often separate from another company's uh, product or brands the environmental cost leadership uh you have to reduce your costs with concern for ecological balance as well now let's see what is uh, i was telling you about the indian hotels company limited of tata groups and the patia activities where local cultures are prevailed and tourists are allowed to thrive uh, so let's watch this video Asia's first lead planning meeting. Responsible luxury is the ethos of ITC Hotels, where we ensure sustainability in all our practices and design, without compromising on the luxury experience of our guests. Our guests are discerning; they've traveled the globe, and today they expect us to have certain initiatives which make our hotel more environment-friendly and leave minimal carbon footprint. towards that there are several initiatives which have been undertaken in at idc hotels at idc gardenia we have a naturally ventilated wind pool lobby our electricity is through wind farms thereby reducing fossil fuel intake this in turn pays back in the long run because our cost of electricity comes down drastically similarly our water is recycled through the stp is used for our cooling towers for our flushing for our horticulture thereby minimizing the requirement of fresh water 
our guests do appreciate this and I can very evidently see a demand through our various guests and corporate clients who wish to have hotels and panel which follow sustainable and green practices. It's going to get more and more important in the coming years where our discerning guests expect the hotel to take care of the environment and at the same time they contribute to this, this effort and this initiative. And it's no secret that hotels which have invested in technology or in design to be sustainable are reaping the benefits and will continue to reap the benefits with greater benefits. So from ITC hotels, our responsible luxury ethos is certainly holding us in good stead in the years to come. That's about ITC hotels. I was um, ITC Gartnia, Bangalore is a, I think you are most of you are from Bangalore. You might have visited the hotel. Another is a brand called Lego. Lego are small bits of plastic frequently destined for landfill via the vacuum cleaner. Lego don't ignore this inconvenient truth. Instead, they explain how they are working to fix it. Set a public goal to sustainability source all materials. 2030, and, and that is not perfect. And they give updates on progress and setbacks. Along this, successes in energy use, carbon dioxide emissions, waste, and packaging show their wider commitment to sustainability. By being honest about their journey, they are controlling their own authentic sustainability story and building trust with their markets. Let's see what is that they are doing. So that's about uh, Lego, and uh, you have the sustainability practice. Um, I mean, uh, uh, interesting facts also about 500 billion plastic bags are consumed worldwide every day. You have um, several companies like uh, even Volkswagen, which have been discouraging people from using um, what should I say escalators. They have arranged a piano staircase. When people walk up, there is music and people get encouraged to walk up by a staircase rather than using escalators. This is Volkswagen's sustainability initiative, uh, which has beautiful videos in the YouTube. I cannot show so many videos. I try to clip in some of those because um, I know that my time is left is another 15 minutes. And uh, Dr. Firdaus uh, is one person who always starts a program on time, closes on time, like me. She's concerned about your timing. She respects your timing. She respects my timing as well. So we will be able to wind up. Uh, I will be able to close sharp at 4.15 so that uh, we can have some, questions, some time for questions and answers and for a healthy interaction. Let's watch this video about plastic bags. I am passionate today when I'm standing down square. Okay, did you increase the value of that? We're going to do a new bus in between uh, shredders and 3D printers, and uh, we're going to pull some people. And as reward, we give them this a 3D printed version of a surfboard to raise awareness on ocean plastics and recycle it. Ooh. Can I ask you something? Can I take a selfie with you? Put your glasses on. Yeah. Yeah. Can I borrow your glasses? Okay. Can I take a selfie with you together with the glasses? Come on. I'm ready to tell you the right. Can I take a selfie with you together with the glasses? Come on. I'm ready to tell you the right. Can I take a selfie with you together with the glasses? Come on. I'm ready to tell you the right. Can I take a selfie with you together Flesh kan je eigenlijk ook recyclen. Nou, ik bedacht dat erop en ben ik hier even in bestaan. Dat helemaal mee. Je hebt je flesje hier inzetten, draait het vul en dan komt het hier onderuit. Uiteindelijk gaat het dan hierheen en dat wordt dan, uh, dan maak je zo sneer. Dus, uh, en uiteindelijk gaat dan deze 3D printer voor jou een souvenirtje uitprinten. Dat is een uh, aandenken voor jou, ook uh, om je een beetje bewust te maken over het feit dat je een flesje gewoon kan uh, recyclen. Ja. Hi, bye.
Ja, yeah, of course. Hey, dat mag. Ja, dat mag. Deze keer. Ik wou hem eigenlijk houden door de scherren gooien. Maar. <laughs> So that's about the plastic recycling that is required. Plastic bricks are made, plastic uh, paper blocks are made with recycled plastic. And uh, plastic is being dumped under the buildings, which again will not generate, degenerate for thousands of years. Of course, uh, companies like Pepsi have come out with the biodegradable plastic for, their, for filling their soft drinks. Um, they are using um, recyclable bottles, um, which can really preserve the environment. You have many more uh, examples to quote. As pioneers in the responsible travel industry, you have uh, Interpret, which, uh, Interpret, which is a travel company, and uh, their sustainability story could be all uh, me, me, me. Instead, their stories are all as us, us. From customers to suppliers, everyone is expected to be a part of their sustainability story. In a win-win uh, situation, Interpret also benefits from partnerships, displaying their formal sustainability and accreditation in their communication and partnering uh, with recognized international bodies in their travel, uh, travel work. They are recognizing world animal protection for their guidance in developing the interpret animal protection policy, are supporting international programs through their foundation, name dropping strengthens credibility. They publicly share their goals and plans and encourage others to copy them. Uh, so what do they do? By working with others, interpret is able to share credibility and build wider momentum for increased sustainability of their se sector. See what they have been doing. Uh, you will be surprised that um, we are not really concerned about ecology. If you go to any doctor, he'll say your bones must be strong. Please take milk. But by taking milk, are we taking too many hormones that are required for a cow than a human being? Uh, by taking milk, how uh, many steroids are entering our body because every year the cattle are impregnated for want of more milk. There is more spread of not green, not only green movement, but also vegan movement in the world where we are concerned about the environment. Vegans, my daughter is a vegan, you know. I find many vegans in US. I found many vegans in Germany. Uh, Germany is a country where it is difficult to get green food. It is easy to get vegan food. Uh, so, um, what is this veganism about? Veganism is about not taking dairy products, uh, not taking butter, cheese, milk, and curd. Because every year we are impregnating the cattle with some steroids and hormones, making them pregnant, sucking their milk, and which is not fit for the human body at all. We are consuming over cholesterol, we are consuming steroids, unwanted hormones, dumping our body with chemicals getting into several intestinal and other issues, which is not at all required. Can't we substitute with almond milk or oats milk or uh, cashew milk? Or um, There are many other alternatives for milk. Peanut milk can be made. Oat milk can be made. Soy milk can be made. Soy tofu can be substituted with that of uh, dairy cheese if you really think in the sustainable way. Uh, even our silk weaving, where we kill thousands of honeybee uh, silkworms uh, to take out the silk from, from the cocoons, it can be substituted with a cheaper silk called banana silk. You have lotus silk out of the threads that are taken out of uh, lotus stalk. You have many alternative uh, silks, which are also sometimes smoother and superior to that of our Kanchipuram silk sari the Banara silk sari. So <clears throat> let's see what this company like Interpret to travel better has been doing. When was the last time that you looked up in wonder? Looked into the eyes of a complete stranger? 
and didn't look down. Replace what you thought you knew with the truth about places, about people, about differences. You took yourself so far from the world that you know. You gave yourself no choice but to be challenged, to be fearless, to be open and curious, and to be kind. Right now, more than ever, this world needs more intrepid people. Another is the Patagonia Winning Loyal Hearts. Patagonia tells stories using articles and videos on environmental social issues through all their media channels, their marketing campaigns. And they are basically provision sellers and the content are built on powerful messages about caring for people and places and are supported with high quality image and content exhibitions. They're engaging through vivid stories and images, Patagonia captures customers' emotions, building genuine brand loyalty. Let us see what they are doing in the, in the context of sustainability marketing. Running. You're running miles, 21 hours, a lot of Put yourself in a situation you really don't think you're going to make it. After a wave like that, it tastes good, food tastes good. These rugged mountain environments are not made for light. You know, you're out there, there's nothing, there's not even a speck of light. I always say, going for a run to lose your mind, but running to return to the earth. I think I've been running and 500 miles in here. Running here is probably one of the most essential parts of running a Being comfortable in the shorts and all the chafing that takes place in here. I would never go you know, start a 100 mile race without having to worn a certain uniform. I've had these for about two years. These shorts have probably seen 5,000 miles on them. So with modern day high performance sports, you're lucky if it lasts three, four, five months. Surfboard is nine years old and doesn't have one single game. Taking that board to Indonesia, Canada, the wedge, took two weeks in the cloud break, or two weeks in the snowfield in Washington. Oh, I think it's Norway. I just have a confidence in that board. The reason why is The amount of good ways I've had on that board makes me smile. Last January, I did a trip with a good buddy of mine, Alex Von Holden. We were the entire 50 We climbed for four days, we climbed about 18 hours a day, seven different days, 12,000 feet of earth a day. The problem is track is in our arms in there. The reason that we can exist for days at a time is because. Yeah. The most important thing is, is like morale is high. A lot of people would just, when they're intimidated, they just get scared. They want to go down. Well, I am quite scared. <laughs> and you know why? Because it's this. <laughs> it's hard to articulate exactly why one piece of clothing becomes a favorite. I think the experience that you've had, like if you've used it over and over again and it's worked for you, you, you just know it's gonna work. You can actually you don't even you don't even think about the board. There's a little bit of superstition involved. I tend to have an emotional connection to the board. Like 
and I wore this jacket. I don't know if I could have done it the last couple of years. I better bring it or I might be tired of that. These shorts I have worn every single time. So the jacket and all the pieces they wear, because now it'll always be attached to my hair. Most rich experience of my life. It's just a little, it's getting worn. And uh, there is a future for sustainability. There must be a future. According to research, nearly two thirds of customers, uh, consumers across six international markets believe that they have a responsibility to purchase products that are good for the environmental and soci environment society. 82% uh, in emerging markets and 42% in developed markets. See, especially, uh, I don't buy a handbag. Um, which is made of an animal hide or animal leather. Uh, I don't buy cosmetics which are tested on animals. Uh, so you try to make yourself sustainable, uh, thereby contributing for the sustainability movement. In the food and beverage industry, a growing number of consumers are considering values beyond price and taste in their purchase decisions that has, such as safety, such as social impact, such as transparency. So one study found that morale was 55% better in companies with strong sustainability programs. The employees are highly motivated compared to those with uh, working for uh, poor uh, sustainability. And employee loyalty was only 36% better. Morale and motivation translate into reduced absenteeism, improved productivity in any business organization. Firms that adapted environmental standards have seen a 16% increase in productivity over firms that do not uh, adopt any kind of uh, sustainability measures. So always sustainability pays better for any corporate and um, uh, sustainability stays uh, forever and ever. I think the old system of uh, the provisions being purchased uh, wrapped up in a newspaper or paper uh, than the plastic packagings or the hand-pounded turmeric powder for cooking where you don't have any kind of chemical added to it or uh, uh, the chili powders hand-pounded or the best uh, even now, um, the conventional method of washing clothes, conventional method of uh, uh, using, uh, you know, uh, ash or uh, things like that for cleaning vessels always superior to then using a detergent. Another study found that revenues from sustainable products and services grew at uh, six times the rate of overall company reserves and between 2010 and 13, and some 12 members of the S&P Global 100 sampled. Singer uh, research says, IKEA's line, line of IKEA is uh, one of the top most uh, branded uh, furniture manufacturer in the world. They have come out with LED bulbs and solar panels from their products for a more sustainable life at home now generate a billion dollars. So IKEA has come out with several uh, experiential marketing programs as well. They have the furniture la ladder in the middle of the city. Where one can climb up and enjoy the luxury of having IKEA furniture. They've also come out with LED bulbs along with their furniture, replacing the CFL bulbs, which consume more of energy. So <clears throat> these are some of the uh, best uh, um, sustainability measures. There are uh, banks like State Bank of India, again, like um, they have what is called as green IT at SBI uh, by using eco-friendly and power-friendly equipments. In their 10,000 new ATMs, the banking giant in the public sector, State Bank of India, has not only saved on power costs, but also earned a lot on carbon emissions, carbon credits, but also set the right example for others to follow. They have entered into a green service known as Green Channel Counter. So SBA is now providing many services like paperless banking, no deposit slip, no withdrawal form, no checks, no money transactions from all those transactions, which are uh, all the transactions can be done, done through uh, SBA shopping and ATM cards. 
became the first Indian bank to harness uh, even wind energy through a 15 megawatt wind farm developed by Sazlan Energy. The wind farm located in Coimbatore uses 10 Sazlan wind turbines, uh, each with a capacity of 1.5 million uh, megawatts. The wind farm is spread across three states, Tamil Nadu, Maharashtra, and Gujarat. The wind project is the first in State Bank of India's green banking program dedicated to the reduction of carbon footprint and promotion of energy efficient processes, especially among the bank clients. I will quote the example of uh, our Bangalore Tiger, Azim Premji's Wipro Infotech. It was India's first company to launch environmental friendly pewter peripherals. The Indian market, they have come out with a range of new desktops and laptops called Wipro Greenware. These products are restriction of hazardous substances, which is called ROHS, plant that redu that's reducing the e-waste in the environment. Similarly, Philips, CFL bulb, uh, Legos, what case study you have observed, O'Neill uh, is an international brand, brand which uh, has uh, replaced uh, all the uh, bottles with recyclable bio-friendly plastic bottles. Uh, and there are many more, uh, you know, there is no time for me to cover all these. I try to touch upon so that we also think of making our institutions more uh, sustainable. And uh, we try to encourage our students, sensitize them to sustainability and making a uh, green campus wherever we work from. Uh, thank you all. Uh, I think, uh, Dr. Firdaus, did I close on time as we scheduled? Yes, ma'am. Because I have a meeting with the portal team at uh, 4.30. So I request the uh, participants, if you have any questions, you can really yes. interact with, the, with me. Uh, yes. We have with us Dr. Purushottam Bhang, the director of uh, Harvey Institute of Management. Uh, who Madam, has namaste. It was wonderful hearing you. Thank you, sir. Thank uh, you. Thank you so much. 52 years. <laughs> I know. I know. She was showing me the books also authored by you on Pearson. And really, you know, we are longing to have you uh, on this platform. Thank you so much. Our Thank you so much. The book is Organizational Development by Prentice Hall. It is also a five-star rated one with a lot of case studies. You can go through that book also, sir. Okay. And uh, you can recommend for your library. Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you for the uh, interest, academic interest for sitting through and uh, also, I thank Professor Anita for uh, hosting this. Mm. Thank Fair you, ma'am. I don't have to thank you because you've been always with me in all my academic endeavors and uh, you've been extremely supportive. And uh, one of the um, best qualities of a student is, I think, uh, obedience. is up <laughs> there in Dr. Fiddos. And mm. that is why I really admire her. Yeah. Uh, well, we are teachers, you know, when I was a child, my grandmother used to say, if you don't share the knowledge you have, next time you'll be born as a Brahma Rakshasi. So that's <laughs> to be a teacher. Uh, uh, <laughs> I used to have the teacher. Uh, <laughs> the teacher. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You know. We are losing your voice, madam, for some reason, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Um, so, ma'am. Yeah. yeah, can we start the question answers, ma'am? Yes, please. Yeah, ma'am, uh, this is from Sri Harsha. Uh, uh, meanwhile, let me thank you. Uh, the, there's a lot of response from the participants. They are all happy with the sessions and they have been enjoying and they have been saying about the examples too that have been shared. Uh, and there's a lot of feedback about, uh, the, uh, about the session. But there are a few questions that they have asked, one from Sri Harsha. Uh, he asked about the sustainability development goal of uh, 2030. And the question is, is it really possible? We Indians have different languages and caste and creed and so forth. And there are a lot of obstacles in the sustainable development, uh, which can be possible by 2030. So that is the question. I, I, it's possible only when we dream of it, we think of it, and we aim for it. You see the a community called the Parsi community. Uh, forgive me if there are uh, any Parsis in the group. They do respect to Parsis. Very great industrialists, very great artists in this country and business people. Uh, Parsi community 
population is coming down drastically because of the intercast marriages and they have moved on to australia and us and all these places migrated uh, today they say the total number of parsis are hardly 5000 in the city of mumbai so i think uh, the intercast marriages are bridging the gaps among communities uh, bringing a cross cultural binding and uh, that is that can be one of the goals as well i feel we may not be able to achieve it 100% but at least we can try for the best yes uh, so the question is basically when to arrive at a sustainable development is there something like you know there is a time frame on how it can be is it depends on the leaders in the institution i have a leader professor gurmeet singh my vice chancellor who is very kind to stray dogs i think he spends about 10000 rupees every month on buying a pedigree uh food for these uh, street dogs on the campus he says these dogs protect us security personnel on the campus he is never beat them no never drive them away these uh, dogs in a kind way especially during the torrential rains during pandemics when students were not there he used to make sure that these dogs are fed on the campus i think that is also one sustainability beautiful gesture i feel yes yes, yes please yeah thank you ma'am uh, there's another question from mr suresh kumar uh, he says that in a country like india people even though they know junk foods are harmful but still they go for it while green products or organic products is healthy and they are aware of it still the momentum momentum is generally less what could be the strategy for marketers are hungry multinationals are hungry so it should be our Uh, self sensitization our own habits um our uh, you know heritage that we get from our parents or grandparents for us we still enough as it is yes yes uh there's one more question ma'am this is from mr anil chando he says how you relate sustainability model in the service sector with a special resp- uh, response towards the uh, hospitality industry uh, yes uh, you have so many you have seen the example of itc gardenia how they have been allowing natural ventilation into their buildings how they have been reducing the ac emissions uh, if you see my room now i switch on the ac i only sw- uh, open my windows uh, because i uh, now during the pandemic time it's better not to be in the ac room better to be in uh, things like that but the industry yes you find uh, green corridors you have you find uh, uh, a lot of uh, eco friendly uh, cars eco friendly uh, valet parking you 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 find many things in the hospitality sector you know the traditional uh, culture uh, culture is being preserved you find uh, many restaurants serving on banana leaves uh, discarding plastic uh many restaurants uh, which are also using recyclable stainless steel rather than the plastic waste many things can be done in the hospitality industry as well if you visit these hotels uh, you will find how much of steam cooking they are doing uh, how much of uh, they they are trying to reduce the oil consumptions how well they are able to plan their heat bills uh, you know uh, conserve water if you see you know there are so many hotels which display uh, in the room saying that please do not uh, ask for recycling uh, for wash of linen every day the towels or uh, your blankets and all which can be washed off after the guest leaves after 3 days or 4 days do you want to conserve water for the country please do not ask replacing the blankets every day you find that kind of slogans also in the hospitality industry yes please um this can be taken as a last question uh, this is from ms mahita uh, according to her uh, you know there is a question on how to differentiate so differentiate sustainability marketing with societal concepts well, so see uh, sustainability itself is a societal concept see sust- we are coming uh, we are thinking of uh, sustainability because we are society conscious the environment we don't want to damage the environment we don't want to pollute the environment we don't want to waste anything so many of us have a smart wardrobe i've seen uh, some of the topmost doctors 
wearing a very sleek wardrobe of just five suits in their cupboard. Tuesday they use one, Tuesday they use one, or at most seven. And they repeat it on the next Monday. How many of us women have a sleek wardrobe, say, of 10 saris or 20 saris? You have a huge collection of silk saris, huge collection of pens, you have a huge collection of winter wear. I think we all should also must be sustainable, not spending too much on textiles and recycling whatever we have. The less luxury, more comfortable, easy to manage. Okay. It is also sustainability. Yes, please. Yeah, I think one. Can we have one more question? Sure. Yeah, yeah, you uh, can go ahead. Uh, this is from Professor C. Lindsay. Uh, she asked about, you know, uh, give some tips to us uh, to practice sustainability in our day-to-day -day lives. You some... want it in the personal front or you want it for your institution as well? I, I think it's in the personal front. The personal front, I told you, have a sleek cupboard, uh, have sleek furniture at home, easy to maintain homes. Don't make a very palatial houses. You will not be able to maintain it once you get older and older. And... Uh, you also uh, make sure that you don't waste anything at home. If you have any food waste in the evening, try to feed the stray dogs. And uh, these things, you know, uh, the if you don't you, like, used oil, I give away to my maids because I feel, you know, there is somebody to use it. It's not and contaminated. Because of my health issues, I don't want to use it for more than one time. You don't waste anything. Food, you especially, you don't waste. Nothing you don't waste. Go and donate it to in, uh, orphanages, old age homes. And um, this is, these are some of the measures, I think. If you ask your uh, mothers or grandmothers who are housewives, they will teach you how to be sustainable. Yeah. I think, madam, uh, if I can add, uh, practice yoga, right? You know, cultivate the yogic way of life. Very leading true. a life. I think everything will fall in place because I am an avid practitioner of yoga. I believe, you know, if we could fall into that line, everything will be automatically be taken care of. Yeah, yeah. Mental peace is very important in our day-to-day yeah. -day functioning. In very yoga, true. you have these uh, yogi kriyas, yoga nidra, and uh, this pranayama especially keeps our mind very, very peaceful. I yeah. is uh, yoga as well, and we conduct a number of shops. Uh, tomorrow we have a Surya Namaskar workshop, mm -hmm. uh, which we'll be uploading in the Ayush website yeah. from our college. Yeah, and this the entire Ashtanga Yoga start with Yama and Niyama, right? Yes. yes. Which itself are doctrines, you know, to lead a sustainable life. Yoga so, gives you sustainable oxygen uh, for your yeah. body. And of course, that is one of the things. There are many other practices. Each one will have their own style. We need mm. to, for the best of the best, uh, to emulate the best sustainable practices and uh, to practice it. Uh, I think that is very important. Observing petrol of your vehicle is also very important. Short distances, you better walk the sustainability. Uh, you know, try, do, try not to get into petrol or uh, diesel based vehicles frequently. Walk up to the nearest grocery store. You know, I love walking around my college or uh, going for shorter distances. So I get down from my official vehicle, kilometer away, tell my driver uh, to go home so that I can walk down. He says, ma'am, let me drop your laptop and your lunch bag at home. Then I say, hey, I can carry my laptop and lunch bag. Give it to me because it gives me my evening walk. And uh, it gives me the potential strength for my shoulders if I carry my luggage. So that is sustainability. I mean, if you would have many things at home. Like, uh, think uh, Mission Monk, if you watch, Vidya Palan will be making puris because the LPG is getting exhausted, gas is getting extra exhausted. Tell her how to make the puris today. She says, the oil is heat, chip of the stove, and you will be able to make three, four puris with that heat itself. It's also sustainability. This is how satellite uh, was launched in the orbit considering the fuel in the survey. So that became one of the brilliant ideas actually for Mission Mangal. How is idea, a project director's idea? Please tell me. Yes, ma'am. 
Uh, I think, uh, thank you so much for answering the queries. Uh, I'll uh, pass on to Noor ma'am. Noor ma'am, you can take over. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, uh, excuse me, there, I think there is a question in the... Um, How the tourism sector can start with pandemic? I, if you can Google, um, you will find my books, Lalita Ramakrishnan and Dr. C.S.G. Krishnamacharilu. That's my husband's name. If you don't remember, you can just... Lalita Ramakrishnan, you'll find his name. He's senior author. First book is on rural marketing. Uh, we have authored books on innovation management, management of technology, industrial marketing, business communication, personality development. The latest book is published by Prentice Hall of India. In 2015, we have come out with that book. Uh, it is on organization development. Uh, you might be knowing about French and Bell's international edition. We wanted to include some Indian case studies in the book, and so I've come out with that book on organization development, which has international as well as Indian cases, the classroom discussion. And that is our latest book, Organization Development, for the information of the participants, please. Thank you all yes. for this lively discussion. Anything else? I think I'll be closing on time as per schedule. Yes, ma'am. We have to. We should be very sustainable when it comes to making use of our time. Also, <laughs> yes, ma'am. Wonderful session, ma'am. Ninety minutes. You started with theory, then came down to practices, then came down to research on sustainability. Everything was covered in ninety minutes. So now I got to know the success of your book. How much the full book will consist of? Ninety minutes. If you can get this much, what about the full book? What content will have? That is why your books are in such a high demand because it enriches all our knowledge man, and make us think marketing is still more good. It so, took two years to complete the last book because we had to compile case studies from Western countries. I used to keep myself awake in the nights to contact the conference and take their permissions and discuss with them as to interventions can be shared with the public and what should not. So, well, uh, it's like giving birth to a baby. And uh, once the book is in your hands, you have the pleasure of uh, enjoying. I hope we'll be able to work upon a book with our scholar, Dr. Firdos, also. Uh, she also has a dream to work with us. So hopefully, all you have the passion to write. Um, really gives you a lot of energy intellectually. I wish you all the best. Yes, ma'am. Keep rocking. And it looks like we have covered all the patients. Anything else you wanted to tell participants before you wrap up? Passions, the way you want intellectually, of you may be very good researchers, somebody may be good in placements, somebody may be very good in teaching. Build your passions academically and contribute to the student community. What will take care of your children and their education if you are able to do your duty perfectly? I've seen it practically with many teachers, teachers who are not good to their profession, don't have good children. Their children don't come up in life. God curses them, perhaps. It should not happen to any one of us. So be good teachers, enjoy teaching, develop a passion for academics. You will definitely come up in your careers. All the best. Thank you, ma'am. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, madam. Uh, Dr. Bang, uh, with your permission, can I sign? I have one more meeting. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you so Thank much. You. Look forward Thank to you. connecting with you again. Thank you so much. My pleasure. We appreciate you. And enriching our participant knowledge on the role of business in uh, sustainable development and bringing the sustainable, sustainable marketing concept so clear to all the audience, including the examples and illustrations. This will really help the practitioners to practice good sustainable marketing practices and teachers to teach in the class. So that was really wonderful session, ma'am. On behalf of Harvey Institute of Management and all the participants present here, I take this opportunity to thank you for sharing your knowledge and wisdom on sustainability to us, ma'am. It's going to take us in long term in our teaching on sustainability. Thank you so much, ma'am. My pleasure. Thank you so much. See you all. Bye. Thank you, our director, Dr. Puchutam Bang, for his uh, support in organizing this NDP. And I also thank all of you for joining for this uh, session and uh, taking the advantage of this MDP program. And request all of you 
to join Gatya tomorrow. Tomorrow, due to Republic Day, we will not be having session tomorrow. So we want you to have uh, celebrate, celebrate Republic Day tomorrow. Please join us day after tomorrow at the same time, three o'clock, with the same link. Mr. Charan Singh will be the resource person for the third session. So see you all. Till then, please take care. Thank you so much for joining us once again. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Good job done, Noor and the entire team, right? Congratulations. Thank you so much, sir.